So over here you can see that I have a table and let's say what I want to do is I want to add a column by using an SQL query. So to do that, I can hit the create button and then click on uh, the query design part right here. And once I do that, I can click SQL and over here, I'm going to go around and type in the SQL query now. So the SQL query to add in a column is alter table. And once I type in alter table, I can type in the table name as prices, press enter and then type in add just like this. So once I do that, I can go around and enter out the column name. So I'm just going to go around and say certification right here. So just like this, I'm going to go around and type in certification. And then I need to go around and type in the data type. So I'm just going to go around and type in text. And you can go around and type in the character limit for that particular data type. In my case, I'm using text and uh, I'm going to end this off with a semicolon, hit the run button. But it says database could not pick up the table because it's already in use. So you have to close the existing table and then hit the run button right here. So now it says the size of the field certification is too long. So 500 is over the limit. So the maximum amount of text that any database field can contain is 255. So if you were to hit run now, it actually alters out the table. So if I were to go around into prices, you can see certification is here. Similarly, I'm going to go around right here and let's say I'm going to go around and say validation. And for validation, I'm going to go around and use character uh, data type right here. So once I do that, I can go around, close the prices and go to query design, hit the run button. So if I were to open up prices now, uh, then you can see validation has been added out as well. So you can see that this is text. This is in uh, this is in character format. This is in text format right here. And that is how you can add in column inside of um, uh, MS Access database by using column um, by using SQL query. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.